This mechanism is made of three gear pairs. The three gears set on the lower shaft are locked on this shaft and are the driving gears. The three gears set on the higher shaft are free to rotate. An index is set on each of these gears to show their angular position. They are the driven gears. All the gears seem to be identical. They are meshing with the same small working plane. Now, see what happens if one turn is given to the driving shaft. It can be seen that the first index is still in its starting position, while the others have moved on either side. Every more turn of the driving shaft will increase the two last index's movement. Hence the paradox. The explanation is as follows. All the driving gears have 30 teeth, but are not identical. The first driven gear has also 30 teeth. The first gear pair uses 30 teeth standard gears. The module is 1 mm, so the center distance 30 mm. The ratio is 1. So every turn of one gear will result in one turn of the other in the opposite direction. The second gear pair uses 30 teeth for the driving gear, but only 29 for the driven, and so this gear is moving faster than the first driven one. If these gears were standard ones, the center distance would be 29.5, and so to cope with the center distance and for not increasing the working play, it's necessary to increase the teeth width. This is made by a positive profile shifting, easy to machine on a gear rubbing machine or any generation gear cutting machine. But it's not easy to calculate the profile shifting coefficient to get the desired center distance. Fortunately, a free software can be used for that. A link is given in the video description to get this software. The third gear pair uses also 30 teeth for the driving gear, but now 31 for the driven, and so this gear is moving slower than the first driven one. If these gears were standard ones, the center distance would be 30.5 mm, and so impossible to set, as the actual center distance is only 30 mm. It's now necessary to reduce the teeth width. This is made by a negative profile shifting. This explains why the three gears set on the driving shaft are not identical while having the same module and the same number of teeth, but not the same profile shifting. If you give 29 turns to the input shaft, the first and second indexes will be aligned. Two more turns, so 31, and now the first and the third indexes are aligned. If you want to get the three indexes aligned by turning the input shaft in the same direction from the start, you'll have to give 31 multiplied by 29 equals 899 turns, as 31 and 29 are prime numbers. Thank you for watching.